Zoe, thanks very much for joining us here at UCL2 Live 2019 and for taking part in our keynote conference. Um, you talked a lot in your presentation about the potential of AI, um, but also about some of the limitations. So I just wanted to, um, if you could talk a bit about how excited you really think utilities should be about the potential of, an, of AI to transform their businesses. I think AI has an awful lot of potential and we're only literally just seeing the tip of the iceberg right now. Um, you know, we're getting better compute power, we're getting bigger data, um, we are advancing so quickly in terms of what AI can do. And I think there's no doubt that it can save money, that it can save uh, jobs, that it can you know, free people up to do other things. That's how it's being sold. That said, it is obviously a program that has to be trained. We need to look very, very carefully at what data it's being trained on. There are issues in other sectors around diversity, and I think we need to watch that in all areas, you know, um, exactly what data are we using to train up these algorithms, because that is going to be the future going forward, how they will operate. And the other thing, of course, is we need to keep a very close eye on the patterns that they're finding. You know, that if you give if you give an algorithm a large amount of data, it will find those patterns. But are those patterns actually uh, something that exists in the real world? We need to keep a close eye and make sure that they are not identifying problems that may or may not actually be there. Thanks. When you had your uh, Q and A and sessions with the other speakers, were there any particular insights or kind of key points that were brought up that you found particularly interesting? I think I was really interested in, um, from a satellite imagery point of view, the, the clarity of images that we're now getting from satellites around the Earth. It's very interesting that they're being used by uh, the defence sector right now, and you can obviously see there are other applications. But the data that could be wrapped in with that to make it even more accurate, I thought it was fascinating um, that you can use social media data, you know, pictures that people are posting in real time around the world to, to clear up perhaps a glitch that there is with an image that you can't quite identify. You know, the, the sort of the, the, the global uh, power of the people on social media to be able to create that enormous picture is really, really interesting. Great. Thank you so much for joining us today at the show and I hope you have a great time looking around. Thank you.